Hey there, this is Jim Donovan. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm so glad that you're here. Today we're going to explore the question, could sound really help to clear Alzheimer's plaque? Before we get started, I'd like to invite you to take advantage of a free resource I made for you. It's called the Sound Health Newsletter. In it, I share the latest research in music and health. Plus, you'll learn music and wellness exercises that you can use every day to feel your best. You'll also get discounts and first access to all of my products and events. Remember, it's completely free. Just come visit me at DonovanHealth.com to get started today. That's DonovanHealth.com. I know that this is one of those headlines that seem too good to be true, yet it's a question researchers are actively exploring. Before I go into detail about this one brain-saving sound, let me take a minute to tell you a bit more about Alzheimer's plaque. It refers to amyloid plaques, clusters of sticky beta amyloid proteins that accumulate in the brain, cutting off communication between your brain cells and eventually killing them. These amyloid plaques are one of the hallmark indicators of Alzheimer's disease. So how can sound help clear away these dangerous brain-clogging clusters? Scientists have been studying this since the 1980s after finding that cognitive activities like reasoning, thinking, perceiving, decision-making, and listening produce a brainwave with a frequency of 40 hertz. This means that the vibration of the brainwave cycles or hums 40 times per second. Now, if you've never heard what a 40 hertz tone sounds like, let me play one for you. This link between brainwave vibrations and Alzheimer's disease was discovered in 1991 after a groundbreaking study found that while undergoing specific cognitive activities, people with the disease displayed 40 hertz brainwaves fewer than those without Alzheimer's. More recently, in 2016, a research team in Canada set out to discover if exposing people with mild to moderate Alzheimer's to a 40 hertz sound could improve their cognition. In this six-week study, 20 Alzheimer's patients were split into two groups. Group 1, the placebo group, watched visually stimulating DVDs. Group 2 was exposed to the 40 hertz sound vibration using a specifically designed medical chair with speakers. Researchers discovered that those exposed to the 40 hertz sound significantly improved their scores on various cognitive tests. In fact, those exposed to the sound improved an average of four points. While the placebo group didn't show any major improvement. The research team also noticed that those exposed to the 40 hertz sound exhibited these four things. Elevated awareness of surroundings, heightened alertness, increased interaction, and stimulation of discussion and storytelling. Then, in 2019, a research team from MIT published another study in the journal Cell on the effects of rhythmic clicking at a rate of 40 times per second, which is 40 hertz, on the brains of mice. And they did this for one hour a day. Researchers also added a visual component, a light flickering at a rate of, you guessed it, 40 hertz. These findings could potentially be one of the biggest breakthroughs we've had in years regarding Alzheimer's research. That's because this combination of 40 hertz sound and light caused something amazing to happen. This prompted the cleanup crew cells, also known as microglia, in the mice's brain to go to work in clearing away buildup of Alzheimer's plaque, or amyloid plaque. Not only did the plaque subside, but the mice improved by upwards of 40% in memory-related tasks. For now, it's hard to say how long and at what volume 40 hertz sound vibrations would be most effective in humans. Fortunately, the research team at MIT is running clinical human trials in both 40 hertz light and sound therapy throughout the end of this year. Very promising news. Of course, I'll be sure to keep you up to date with their exciting findings and most effective treatment methods. It just goes to show the truly incredible and fascinating power that sound has in healing our bodies. That's it for today's show. Thanks again for spending time with me. Remember to join us on our social media channels. You can search Jim Donovan Sound Health on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
If you want to hear more content like this, be sure to subscribe, rate, and review us. Doing that helps us a lot. Now, before you go, I'd like to let you know about a free resource I made for you. It's called the Sound Health Newsletter. In it, I share the latest research in music and health in an easy-to-understand form. I also share beginner-friendly music and wellness exercises that you can use every day to feel your best. When you sign up, you also get discounts and first access to all of my sound health products and events. Remember, it's completely free. If you'd like it, just visit donovanhealth.com and enter your name and email address, and I'll start sending you new issues right away. While you're on the website, you can also read full transcripts of this show and check out a ton of other valuable resources. If you have any feedback, send me an email to feedback at donovanhealth.com. All the information presented on this show is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. Lastly, come and visit me on our Sound Health Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube channels. I'd love to see you there. The Sound Health Podcast is produced by OmniVista Health Learning and Donovan Health Solutions. For Sound Health, this is Jim Donovan. See you next time. Take care.